Hey Chiefs fans, Richard here with breaking news. Welcome to our latest update. If you want to stay in the know, hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss any future videos. While most off-season player acquisitions have slowed, the Kansas City Chiefs still have opportunities to enhance their roster. Minor moves may occur before or after training camp. Interesting names may become available following final roster cuts, and trades remain a viable option. The Chiefs are an attractive trade partner due to their cap space and draft capital. They have about $16 million in cap space from the Algerius Sneed trade and multiple draft picks in upcoming drafts, enabling them to trade for nearly any player. Although the Chiefs are back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions with a strong roster, some areas need veteran depth, particularly at running back. Currently, Isaiah Pacheco and Clyde Edwards-Hilaire are the only assured running backs for Kansas City. Behind them, there are undrafted free agents and camp invites. The Chiefs need a veteran running back who can provide depth and take significant carries if Pacheco is injured. Ideally, Edwards-Hilaire would be the number three running back. One realistic target is Carolina Panthers running back Miles Sanders. Sanders had a disappointing season last year with Carolina after signing a four-year, $25 million deal. He previously rushed for over 3,700 yards and 21 touchdowns in four seasons with the Philadelphia Eagles. Last year, he averaged a career-low 3.3 yards per carry and failed to reach 500 rushing yards. Consequently, Sanders is considered a potential cut or trade candidate. The Panthers struggled last year, partly due to a weak offensive line, which affected Sanders' performance. Despite this, Sanders could thrive in Kansas City, where the offensive line is stronger and the offense could better utilize his skills. Andy Reid could maximize Sanders' potential, making him valuable depth even if he's not at his peak. If Sanders is cut post-June 1, the Chiefs could sign him without trading. However, they might opt to trade a late-round pick to secure his rights, potentially with Carolina covering part of his salary. Miles Sanders is a standout option among potential running back acquisitions for the Chiefs. With a proven track record, he could significantly bolster Kansas City's backfield. General Manager Brett Veach should monitor the running back situation in Carolina as the offseason progresses. Feel free to share your thoughts about this news in the comments section of the video. If you enjoyed the content, remember to spread the word among your friends. See you soon.